Okay, welcome to um, another lesson on the FCE paper. This is going to be an, a, le a lesson about question two. Now, in question two, most students have problems because it's the hardest part of the um, grammar. Um, you don't have any multiple choice here. That's one reason why it's harder. You just have a missing word in, well, you have about 10 or 15 missing words in a long text and you have to choose the missing words. Now the good news is they usually test the same types of words and that's what we're going to look at today. You need to know phrasal verbs, collocations, linking words and many other things I've already talked about. So let's get straight on to the first one. They won't do business with EU. Now I hope that you know that EU means European Union and I hope that you remember that all unions, um, the United Kingdom, the United States, the Soviet Union, the European Union, all unions of countries need the. So one of the uh, things which they test you on is articles. They test you on articles, and I'm gonna write that there. So make sure you know how to use articles. Please watch my video on articles. I have made a video about them. Okay, look at the next one. This is the man <coughs> sold me my car. Now, I hope this is quite easy for you. I think it should be. Um, I hope you know it's who. This is the man who. Because we use who for people. Okay, we use uh, where for places. This is the place where I was born. Or things, we use which. So make sure you know those WH words and a lot of question words because again, they test them. They also test pronouns, which I've written up here, like him, her, them, it. But again, it's rather easy if it's like that. I think so anyway. And you should be able to get the pronouns. Now, they also test the missing answer in this one. I don't know the answer <coughs> this question. Now you should immediately sense or feel that this is a preposition. So prepositions, articles, pronouns, you need to know all of these things. So what's the preposition here? We have an answer to a question. So it must be the preposition to here. I've got many videos also on prepositions with nouns, prepositions with verbs, and prepositions with adjectives. Please watch them to uh, brush up on your prepositions. Okay, look at the next one. I saw him last night, so he have been with you. Now look at this construction. It's a very common construction, and it's a modal construction. So please make sure you know your modal verbs. Now this modal verb, this is a past modal because we're talking about last night and we're speculating or deducing what must have happened last night or what might have happened or what can't have happened. So please make sure you know these modal verbs. Now uh, you should see here that I saw him last night so he, it's logical to say can't have been with you, not must and not might. It's logical to say I saw him last night so he can't have been with you, okay? Make sure your sentences are logical. Read the text carefully. Uh, it must be logical. Okay, next we have a word at the start, so I hope you can guess it's a linking word, a conjunction. Make sure you know your linking words. Now, you I hope you can see here that there's a contrast between feeling ill and going to work. So the word that's missing is although, and if you've watched the recent videos on linking words, I hope you get that one as well. So please make sure you know your linking words. Okay, the next one, he's bad tempered. He has very <coughs> patience. Now again, I hope you can see that we're talking about a quantity here. So it's quantifiers. Most important thing to remember with quantifiers, I hope you remember, is much and many, much for uncountable, like work, time, traffic, and many for countable, like friends, bananas, or something like that. But there's also two more you need to remember. And 
It's little for uncountable and few for countable. And so here we're trying to say not much, aren't we? He doesn't have much patience. Patience is uncountable, so it has to be little. He has very little patience. Make sure you know your quantifiers as well. Okay, the next one is really a quantifier. I asked them both, but <coughs> of them wanted to come. Now this is a word which often tricks people or people are sometimes unaware of it or they've forgotten it. But please remember when you're making, uh, when you're saying not A nor B, you're saying neither A nor B, neither of them. When you're saying not one nor the other, you want to use neither. Um, so this is really a quantifier as well. Okay, look at the next one. I would have told you if I known. Now immediately you should see this is a conditional. So make sure you know your conditional formulas. Would and have and the third form and if and. Well, it's past perfect. And so the word is had. But the point here is to make sure you know your auxiliary verbs. Make sure you know your auxiliary verbs in all tenses and also in conditionals because they will test them. So you should know that this is a had. It's a past perfect inferred conditional. OK, the next one is still an auxiliary verb, but we're not testing conditionals now. We're testing uh, passive. So what word is missing in passive? It must be was. OK, it was built in the 19th century. Quite an easy one if you get it. Uh, so I hope you do get it. <laughs> um, but it's just asking you for an auxiliary. OK, he couldn't make up his... Make sure you know your collocations, yeah? They test a lot of collocations. And again, I've done another video on some, but that's not going to be enough for you to know. You need to know lots and lots of collocations. So he couldn't make up his mind, yeah? He couldn't make up his mind. Um, so try and learn as many of those everyday phrases and expressions that people use a lot in England. Um, okay, so you've got collocations. And lastly, uh, you really need to know um, at work, he up with a great idea. You need to know a lot of phrasal verbs. Now, this is a very useful phrasal verb. It means think up or um, it means just create an idea, really. Come up with an idea. Very useful um, just for when you um, have, a, have a good idea or a plan or a suggestion. OK, thanks for listening to all of that. And uh, if you have any questions, please ask me under the video. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you all soon.